Thank you so much for joining me. This is The Edge. We are back in Subnautica. Yes, awesomely. Fun, fun, fun game. I swear to God. Anyways, it's on special right now, from what I heard. Uh, so I would check it out. There's a spring sale. So is a forest, which is really cool. Yeah, I think it's almost half price off, not 30 or 40%. So check it out. Great values on Steam. I'm going to pick up as much as I can. Uh, while I was looking around, there's a couple things that uh, I was trying to grab some stuff, and I, we, when I see you hit those little rocks. If you missed the other episodes and you don't know anything about this game, it's good to go and check it out. Uh, but once we hit them, I actually hit some gold, which is phenomenal. Hit a lot of copper ore, and I also have to separate these up from here. This all titanium that we picked up, which is really nice and handy as hell. And here's the other one here. Most of the quartz, a little tougher to find is quartz and salt. I find it very hard. Of course, gold is always a bitch too. So our goal today is, well, a couple of things I'd like to see. I'm hoping we can do it all today. If not, we'll have to spread it out. I like to get this done now too, so let's just get our tank up, uh, upgraded right now. We need titanium and glass. So glass is very simple. Uh, you need quartz. So let's just get a couple quartz anyways on us while we do this stuff, because there's always something you need for quartz and titanium. Pretty much. Not all of it, but at least some of it. Let's just make sure I have it on us so we don't have any problems here. Uh, so we need glass, so glass, obviously. Two quartz. And it says it right on the bottom there in green. You can't miss it right there. See? There we go. So I have two quartz. And there we go. That should be it. Just able to get our O2 tank up. That gives us an extra 30 seconds of air. Yes. But it also screws us somehow. How would it screw us? Well, it takes up a space inside of your inventory. So prepare yourself. It kind of sucks. Just like your knife and stuff. I would like it better if we can actually plop them into this place here. But you can do that with the rest of the equipment you do. Uh, you die, well, the rest of the equipment we're gonna build to build out this. So you see here, like reinforced dive suits. So you need to get silicone rubber and synthetic fibers, which you're not gonna find right now. Uh, lead times two for those, and fins is silicone rubber. So silicone rubber, you just gotta go up here and check it out. And silicone rubber is quartz. So let's go and get ourselves some fins. We can make ourselves go a little quicker. I think it's two silicone rubber. And there we go, our fins. So this is it. Was it uh, translate vertical limb movement underwater into four thrust? So a little faster. And there are other upgrades you could do. So it's pretty damn cool. So it goes automatically here. There we go. So this is actually a little faster, and we actually have more time. As you can see now, it's 75 on the O2 on the top left. And so that's pretty good. So we can actually hold our breath a lot longer. Uh, wait a second. I was also trying to, before we finish this up here, I do want to get the mobile vehicle bay out as fast as possible. So uh, mobile vehicle bay blueprint. We did get the blueprint and we also got the blueprint for the Seamoth. When I was looking around, I was able to scan another one. And again, if you're not too sure how that works, I'd go and check out the other episodes where I was scanning some of them. So it's definitely a must for you to do. I just wanted to find last two and I picked them up. I didn't feel like... Uh, there's more important things we have to scan in out there, and we're going to go through all that. Oh, nighttime approaches. There we go. So titanium ignit. So titanium ignit is pretty simple. You got to go up here and find out right here. Titanium. That is 10 times uh, titanium. So, well, we have a shitload of that. No problems there, brother. How much we have? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Let's keep a couple more extra. So you just move over here. Open this baby up. And... It's just like a bar here. That's it. There we go. Look a little different than the actual. That was kind of strange. What did I did it? It didn't look like this. It did it. It looked kind of like rubber. It was doing. Okay, that's cool. So we got one of those. Just double checking. I didn't want to mess that up. Last thing we need here. Okay, so we need lubricant. Lubricant is pretty simple too. If you, uh, oops. Oh, for God's sakes. This is one thing I do find about this game. Sometimes you just click on the wrong thing. So lubricant is here. Creepvine seed clusters. All right, so the creepvines, as you saw last episode, we went to pick them up. There were tons of those things, and we had picked up also these things here, which are attached to them. So the creepvines are like this, and when we go back out, I'll show you exactly in case, but you can always, like I said, the other episode's really cool. You can actually catch on to all the stuff we might have missed, and that's definitely one of them. The reason why we're doing this, this actually builds us a Seamoth and other things we do need. So it'd be nice to you know, maneuver our way through and pick these things up. So let's get this all rolling. 
There we go. Let's get to make another one. We'll put it inside the. All right. I guess what else do we need here for this baby? It's actually an upgrade here. Look at that. Oh, two tiny thirty seconds. Why is that same one? I thought like okay. I think they would have like blushed that or something. Power cells. So power cells are a little more difficult to get, and uh, I'll tell you why. Because it's right here. Power cells are two batteries in silicon and rubber. So this is as two acid mushrooms and copper ore. All right. So I think we have acid mushrooms. This is mushrooms and creep vine. Three, four, and copper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whatever. It's all good. With silicon and rubber, I think I saw some here. There we go. That's cool. Let's not waste what we don't have to build. Do I have any quartz on this? Because we're going to have to... Yeah, we do. Let's just grab a little more. These are all products we actually need anyway, so it makes no difference. This is why I went out and did all the farming, so we can actually get this stuff built, and then we can have some fun. Uh, because nothing... You know, I want to I wanna explore a little further. I think we, we deserve it. So it's going to be one of those things here where we have to try and build a little further out. And again, I just lost the train of thought where the hell I was going with the power cells. There we go. So where is it? Battery. So we need two batteries. That's right. One. Two. And one power cell. So it's for the two batteries. You saw everything just going in. There's your power cell. Perfect. And there you go. Mobile vehicle bay. So this is going to help us build what we need. It's not going to build it right away. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. What this does is help us get the stuff built, which is really cool. All right, while we're doing this, let's just drop our stuff here in case something happens because we are playing survival. And I don't want to lose most of the stuff here. Sorry about that. Let's make sure. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. I mean, this, this will actually just be put out. You'll see where we're going to put this. Up we go. Up, up, up. Release the vehicle bay. Aye, Captain. There she is. So this is the vehicle bay we just built. There we go. We released her. What this does, it helps us build here as soon as we walk up to it you go left click it oh sorry just close it back up whoa climb there you go left click perfect and to use it there goes vehicles and the sea moth here he goes titanium ignit uh ignit the power cell glass times two lubricant we got pretty much a lot of that shit. So for Seamoth, that's all you need. Titanium Ignit, which you can get that. Power Cell. We'll have to work on that right away. We'll have to get some more mushrooms. And glass. Let's do that. Let's pick this up so we can get our Seamoth. Let's get some more mushrooms here. These batteries are very important. Anyways. Oh, shit. I'm stuck. Please don't let me jam in here. Right. Oh, shoot. I forgot we can actually hold our breath longer. There we go. We have quite a bit. New fins are really helping out, too. Uh, I think that should be it. Oh, actually, you know what? We're probably gonna... Do we have lubricant enough? Those are lubricants right here. You see, this is where we actually got them from. Right over there. So those things are attached to the creep vine here. You just hit them with the knife, and bam, they're yours. And those, I think you just pick them up without hitting them, so it's all good. We are going to need supper. I can wait. I should have gone hunting outside when at nighttime. These things sleep at night. You don't want to start hunting them or running around after them. The strikers will, not these guys, but the strikers are in here, will attack your hands. I know that a couple of you have said the same thing to me, and it makes complete sense. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. I think it's actually Ken who mentioned that, too. So it's very, very important not to keep it. I mean, it's pretty cute. Uh, or is it Dennis? One more another. It's one of you, uh, or a couple of you, actually, have actually mentioned it. So don't be shy to keep on helping out here or discussing. I love discussing this game, so it's really cool. You guys are all involved in it. 
There we go. We're gonna need food any second anyway, so might as well cook these babies up. There we go, there we go. We do need water too, but we'll have to, we can hold off. Don't over drink water, it'll make you sick. And actually, it'll help bring your health down, so do not do that. Okay, so now we're gonna need... We need glass, we need a lot of stuff here, but we also need lubricant. Which is fine, I think we already have some. And Okay, let's get some of everything. Let's get it busy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be good. Okay, so we're gonna go up on top here. We'll make ourselves a titanium magnet. That's a wrong graphic right there. For sure, 110%. Uh, we'll make some silicon I think we needed. Do two silicons, make sure we have them. That seems to be very, very important. And glass. Not even sure if we need that, but figure what the hell. Uh, and uh, we need a battery, sorry. Let's just get this here. Power cell we need, so we're gonna have to make it two batteries. One, dos. There we go, and now power cells are below. With two batteries equals one power cell. There we go, perfect. Now I'm trying to remember what else we forgot. Shit. What else did I forget here? Glass times two and lubricant. Okay. I was ready by the glass. Just need one more. And the lubricant too that we need the shop tier. Where is it? Oh, there's lubricant. And what was I doing? My head is going everywhere tonight. What is that? And glass. There we go. One more glass. I knew it's the reason why Stary does that machine. If fun sometimes just to sit there and look at something going, I know what I'm doing. I swear to God. It's all good. It's all good. We're going to have this done now. Seamoth will be completed. Which I'm kind of excited because I really like Seamoth. I mean, if you've never played this game before, but it's really a nice tool. Climb. Here she is, Seamoth. Here she comes. Ah, uh, my little baby. You can upgrade this and the moon pool and all that. We'll be doing that too later on. At least we'll be able to travel a little more. I'm sure we have some power cells too. To, we don't run out of energy. Welcome aboard, Captain. There's our baby. <laughs> now you can get closer to these things. Hello. Hello, you strange looking fish. Very nice. Let's we'll make a parking place to park this baby, but right now we can just leave her here. She's not going to go anywhere. She looks pretty. God, I'm happy about that. Yeah, I'm happy. What a nice looking. Damn, I'd love to see you off. All right, so cool. We got the sea moth. We got fins. We got a well, at least a a new air tank, which is kind of nice. Okay, now the main goal right now is to get ourselves all settled up here, which is going to be needed very shortly. So let's get to see what else we would need to build. One last thing. Uh, current generator. There's a whole bunch of stuff we could build here. Uh, beacons to keep track of where we leave our stuff, which is really nice. The sea glide is really nice too. Uh, we should need battery, lubricant, and copper wire. Obviously, copper wire is going to be built with copper, right? So we're going to need to get a whole bunch of other kind of stuff that we're going to need here throughout the ba baby. Here, well, baby, throughout this whole Subnautica adventure, so it would be really cool. We can actually build copper wire if we want to. We can do a sea glide if we want to afterwards. We're not going to want to waste the resources on that. Uh, I do. Oops, I did want to build a battery though. We need for an extra batteries just to make sure a power cell. Two of those, but where is it? Uh, 
do two of these. Yeah. At least we'll have a power cell on us. So that we don't run out while we're around driving these little... The Seamoth. The last thing you want to do is run out of energy, so it's pretty cool. Alright, let's drop this here, drop there. And we'll put that over here. Let's eat. Okay, that, that actually made us thirsty as shit. Holy crap. Okay, that wasn't very good. We're going to need to find some... Uh... Shit. Air sacs right away. I knew realize those things actually make us that thirsty. Okay. I think I know where we can find those really quick. Oh, there's one right here, actually. Shit. Wish you could grab from here. You can't. So, you need to get out. This gives you water. Three more. So, you can find some more of those. You see the energies on the bottom? Oh! And, well, yeah, we'll need to solder that. The health of the actual vehicles there, too. I love this thing. Even the sound is pretty freaking cool. I don't gotta buy. I don't gotta buy. I mean, I'm not gonna take those fish again. Those ones are freaking damaging. These ones are really good here. Where is he? Every time you get out of this thing, I don't know where the hell I am. They're there. They're really quick, though. Oh, there's one. These ones are more important for us right now. Oh, shit. Gotcha. You see me grab your friend? Don't you want to be with him? In my stomach. There's that sound again. Volcano, I guess. Oh, I almost got your ass. Fuck. They're so friggin' quick. Oh, what the hell is that? Ah! What the hell? I guess I grabbed this meal? Little son of a bitch, come here. You dead? You piece of shit. Hell is that thing? It's like a weird worm or something. No, he's dead. Okay. That was very strange, man. I guess I was going after his food or something. He just didn't appreciate that at all. Caution. Dehydration detected. Yes, I'm aware. But so we're not far away. Just gonna try and grab another fish for supper. Now, it's not good, because usually you need a couple of water to do that. I'm hoping these ones will bring us enough water. Just grab these sons of bitches. There we go. And if you lose your sea glide right there, the sea moth is right there. It's really not hard to find. It's always flashing. Gotcha. We're actually have to go in right away. We'll go back and pick it up in two seconds. Just gotta make sure we don't dehydrate that quick here. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, we're all good. We're all good. New creature discovered. Let's get ourselves a filter water. I mean, this is all about balancing, right? I do think they need to balance this a little better. That doesn't run out so quick. I mean, that's why I just think we eat good, you know, drink good. You don't need to worry about that. But it seems like it's constantly going down. There we go. Plus five hydration. Okay, that's good. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, do you want to overeat? 
And not over drinking, so that's good. So this is pretty good. Let's put this in here. This one gives us four hydration, 31 food. This one's... Oh. Rotten. Wow. No! Oh, I just gotta stop when I do... I click the wrong shit all the time. Ugh. It's okay. Part of life. Let's go get back a Seamoth here. We need to find salt. We're in desperate need of salt. It's not easy to find. You guys have the same problems with me here? Because salt is killing me. I used to find that shit all over the place. Now it's like, it's worse than finding quartz. There's some quartz right here. It's nice because you keep the air in when you're inside the sea moth, right? So you can go depth, a certain amount of depth. I mean, you can't go super low right away. But the lighting, especially at night, this Seamoth is imperative. But you can go here, and I can get back to it and get the area I needed. So that's the cool part of it. Oh, we found a fragment. Here, a snapping sound. What is that? Oh, is that thing? So it's a Seamoth fragment. We have that already. Ooh, some goodies down there. Ooh, there's a lot of goodies down there. Okay, let's go down there. Ooh, ooh. That we need him for water. Thank you. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, ma'am. Just gonna pick up our trash here. Clean up the... Oh, there's some more quartz in here, side. Turn this shit around for a second. Oh, yeah, a lot of quartz. Look at this stuff. So much to look for. Those bubbles of air, if you don't know about them, if you see them, just walk right into them. They'll actually do very good for you. I wonder if the rotten was actually brand new or not. The rotten fish or not. I don't remember. I don't think I ever kept any storage, to tell you the truth. If that's true, then either give us the option to... I mean, we can cure it, though. Warning. Yeah. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oh, you know what? It's fine. Let's say give us a fridge or something, but there's an aquarium we can build, so... Nah, they already did that. It's a sort of a fridge. Whoops. Let's just grab... Whoops. Let's just grab our... This stuff is where you get all the goodies. Is that silver? Whoa, get back, get back, get back. Oh, this is important. Stalker tooth, that's gonna be handy afterwards. Trust me. You find those where the stalkers are, so. Oh shit, there's a the stalker. Oh, he just ate that fish. I don't wanna be a stumper. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, there's a the lights. Right click is the lights. Hey, what do you like it? Ah, uh -huh. shoot you. No. <laughs> Later on you can add she add the, the stuff we need to. Yeah, smack you. You little shit. What, now you're running away? How's our battery? Uh, 85. Come on, come on, run up, run! Look how nice it does, looks at night. Ah, killed your ass. Boom. You dead, mother. What's that? Yeah. Shut the hell up, he's coming after us. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you can't actually run over fish and stuff. I knew that. Oh, there's some salt. Oh, primo, primo, primo. Just a little more salt. That's all we need. Just more salt. And quartz. Salt and quartz. And these little blowfish for, for water. Now it's sleeping time. I think they're not moving around as much. Look. These guys do, though. Holy shit. I thought it was easier to catch them or something at night, but I guess not. 
thought I saw some of them just stop moving. Come on, little bastard. Oh, it's so nice to have the air tank now. Jesus. Go up every two seconds. Sea moth can get us so much further. As long as you have the batteries and stuff. You go and, you know, do your job to go out there and grind a little bit. It's not that bad. It's actually very beautiful and it's a good little time. I have no problems with it. Okay, there we go. We need the welder to fix this thing for sure. Look at this fish. Bam! Supper's ready. Now you can actually kill a fish, yes. I think the window in the front of the glass is actually cracking a bit to see the little marks on it. Oh, there's another one. Where'd he go? I don't want to go too far away from the sea moth, but I do see a couple more down here. And then we're going to head back to the actual base and drop off what we found. So far, not phenomenal, but we're going to go a little further out with the sea moth very shortly. Uh, we have to go in some of these caves like this. Find out what these friggin' weird things are. See, this fish isn't moving too fast at night. That's perfect for water. Damn, I'm so happy. So we have to go up for air if we don't want to. Look how long it took us before we had to breathe. Oh, I guess they're all sleeping. Yeah, they're sleeping. Oh, don't worry. We just. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's what I'm working on now. These ones don't sleep at night. Okay. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, we're in our room. Okay, where is he? Okay, let's head back to the SEMA, to the actual base, and then uh, we're going to cook up some food. Where do we go? Where's our base? Over there. We're going to cook up some food and get ourselves all back and running. Then we're going to go investigate a little further out, make sure we have enough batteries uh, life span. We have to go out and actually search out. We have 90% energy. We can weld this baby up. So there is a health issue for this, which is the how you know, damage incurred by killing the sons of bitches around us. But actually, we should turn off the lights on this thing. Pretty sure it would take away a battery. I would think so. Yeah, I would think so. You guys, get out, press E, and let's go in here for really quick and get the welder. Welcome aboard, Captain. Before we get dehydration, you are all gonna die. Let's make yourself all that water we had just got. With fish. There we go. Now again, don't over drink water just like in real life. You over drink it, you get sick, and you can actually die. So it will affect your health. And again, it takes quite a bit, but in this game too, it's the same thing. They say it's too much. But we're gonna make as much water as possible, and obviously to to go after those fish, the best thing is at night. Uh, what is this? Cooked whole fish. It's whole fish. I don't think I've ever seen that fish before. Cooked pepper. Twenty-one plus three. There we go. Vital signs stabilizing. Three, four. There we go. That's more than enough. That's more than enough. Okay, we'll keep that on us. Put the water here that we don't need. Uh, maybe we'll keep one bottle on us, and we're gonna drop off right here. Here too. We'll jump off all our, our quartz. I'll do the rest of this other stuff on top here. I'll place all that stuff back in a second. I just want to do one thing before we get out of here and end the episode. I just want to fix our sea moth because I'm not going to like that if we forget about it and we start he heading out and going, oh shit. So let's go fix our sea moth in case this happens to you and you don't know what you're doing. Uh, it's pretty darn simple to do. Get your welder. 
right here. Pushing these batteries too, so you gotta be careful. And you see the bomb energy. Well processed, 100% welded. So let's go in here. Now look, 100% health. Pretty cool, huh? So I mean, maybe carrying a welder, oops. Maybe carrying a welder is a good idea if you're going to the large depths or whatever. Uh, but we can actually increase the Seamoth and upgrade it uh, with little places where they can actually store stuff here. So this access upgrades, which is left click. And you can do all your upgrades you want with the Seamoth, but putting on four things, which are missiles. Uh, you can also upgrade a, a good amount of, sorry, a good amount of stuff, including uh, storage, which is really good. Uh, also things to protect you, which is, uh, I think, electrical shields. Uh, it was a whole bunch of stuff all through the moon pool. So we were going to do that too. Absolutely. It's not going to be a big problem. So we're going to try it all out. So again, we're going to end the episode here. And when we come back, we'll be thankfully uh, be able to go and investigate more stuff and get more better stuff and start getting uh, the, the stuff that we need down below. And we'll be able to at least build as we go. And then and explore the bottom of the depths uh, with bigger and better vehicles. So that's what we can't wait. And again, the Seamoth is always the best start for me. I always enjoy it. And I'm happy that you know, we actually got it this quick. So it's great. Yep, I'm very happy. Again, guys, thank you so much for all your support. If you guys can hit likes and subscribe, you haven't done so either. And check out the other fantastic, uh, fun games that we bring to you. And again, it's all because of you guys. It's so much fun. And thank you so much for being here. This is the Edge for Game Edge. I'll catch you on the flip side.